such a situation where the need for um, a new policy direction is now, but the data that is required for that policy direction to support it is not there and would maybe need some months to a year or so to generate. I am a professor of horticulture at the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology in Kenya. I am also a deputy vice chancellor in charge of research production and extension in the university. And uh, lastly, I'm also a researcher. Uh, I've been working on uh, African indigenous vegetables for the last 30 years. Wow. It's quite impressive. Thank you. So you have been involved in this uh, three-day workshop that has been discussing um, how top scholars like yourselves in Kenya and in Africa at large can play a leading role in promoting and in institutionalizing evidence informed decision making within our governments but also within our universities. Uh, what is your main takeaway? You know, one thing that you stands out for you for being part of this workshop? One thing I must say is that uh, as researchers, we have been blamed that we talk to ourselves, mm -hmm. and it's very important that uh, this kind of uh, platform was provided to lead researchers in Africa so that we can be able to interact with the, either the policy makers or the practitioners. So for me is that I've learned some of the skills that I need to use when I'm engaging policy makers. I've done it before but I've learned new skills. One of the things that I have, I'm going to take away is to implement what was referred to as uh, yeah. policy, research policy yeah. cafes, yeah. something which is less informal to keep the policy makers interested in our research because they blame us that we always talk our scientific jargon. So it's that will be a relaxing <laughs> way so yeah. that they can engage and understand where we are coming from so that we can help them develop uh, the country. Oh, that's quite, yeah. I think policy makers like to say scientists talk to themselves. Yes. Um, so from the conversations you've been having, the ideas, the lessons shared in the workshop, is there one thing you will go and implement or apply in your work or do differently because of this workshop? Uh, yes, what I am going to do is, uh, during the presentation, I learned about guidelines of uh, this area, which is new, evidence-informed decision-making. Yeah. And uh, although we do it informally, yeah. but I want, I've been engaging actually the Minister of Agriculture in my area of research on African indigenous foods. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to engage maybe county governments and the Minister of Agriculture uh, in the headquarters, the national government, to be able to come with guidelines in this particular area that as we engage, we create uh, guidelines that we can be able to promote the indigenous foods. What I have in mind is we have a lot of work being done on indigenous vegetables, mm -hmm. indigenous fruits, uh, indigenous mushrooms. You heard about them during the presentation. Yes. We have even insects for feed and food. Yeah. And that this unique food that we've been eating in Africa, but we have not uh, 
been able to put them on the plate properly and in the international arena. So for me, I'm going to use the information we already have and engage policy makers so that we can be able to use it to help the government of Kenya to achieve one of the big four agenda on, uh, on food nutrition and, uh, 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 and food, security. food security and nutrition. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. And thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's really good to know that you have a great ideas of how you're going to um, apply some of the lessons that have been discussed here. When um, you think about this workshop more broadly, um, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, sensitizing you know, top leaders in our universities to also champion um, the incorporation or institutionalization of uh, evidence in their decision making, how do you see this workshop being helpful in contributing to capacity in this area? I think this uh, workshop is going to be very useful because the information we have got here, I know that even as a manager in the university, mm -hmm. I'll be able to have a, a platform because every time we have management meetings within the university, each of the deputy vice chancellors is asked to bring up any uh, proposals on how to change how we can improve the university. So I'm going to take my advantage of that mm -hmm. uh, so that, you know, within the university, like uh, Joma Kenyatta University, we have so many professors, high profile researchers, and also managers who also do other engagements with government. So I am used to use this platform to be able to sensitize the university, including the vice chancellor, on this. And I think out of this, we can even create some uh, training materials for even short courses yeah. for different people within the government and within uh, the region, because we already do some, some training like in procurement, short courses for gov governors and gov uh, govern people from the, gov the county government. So it's a very good opportunity in terms of researchers and also training. So I can see that within our university, we shall be able, if we do it right, we can be able to contribute to sensitizing and uh, educating people in this unique area as such developing uh, area of discipline. Yes.